this is my Squire V6 and what are we going to do to it we are going to install it's called the bus stop roller attachment for Jaguar style guitars and we're going to take it out of the package got a roller and it holds down the strings especially if the tailpiece on the like on a jazz master guitar or jaguar uh, sometimes they put it too far away from the bridge so the strings don't make good contact with the bridge so first step I gotta do is I gotta take off the strings one at a time. So now I'm gonna in the strings. So here we go. Now there's the peg box, and since I gotta take off the strings, I'm gonna use my trusty old battery operated string winder. This my Ernie ball string winder. Okay, you won't see me, uh, my face in the video, but here we go. You don't have to um, unwrap the whole thing, it pops right off. And one note about putting strings on these kind of guitar pegs. You gotta put the string all the way down. And you gotta bend it over, but you also have to put full tension while you wind in the string, or the string will pop off. Okay. Now we got the strings off with the guitar enough. Okay, that's a good view of the bridge and the tailpiece. And what we do first, we take these two screws off. So I'm going to get my screwdriver to take these off. And you notice on my base, I, what I did, I put a couple spaces in here so the bridge don't move around too much. It moves some. I, I put the screws the other way because it'd be pretty hard to do the intonation. But anyway, what we're gonna do now is unscrew these two front screws. I'm unscrewing it. Okay. 
I put one of these contractions, the bus stopper, on my my Squire uh, Jaguar, and let me tell you, it it, it really helped because. off the bridge every time I strum it. I see, I'm not cheap and make sure that you can get. And that's how I found out about this piece. Now, I gotta figure out uh, how you put this on. If you do it this way, um, it'd be too, too, too much of a, um, too much of a pitch of a string. So, we gotta do a little fiddling here. Okay. I think I'm gonna do it like that. That way. for the instrument. So that's how I'm going to install the gadget. So, now we're going to put the first screw in. I bought this piece on Amazon. Uh, and uh, so I'm showing you that I'm screwing it in. Tai Wei, it does a great job. Because the problem with these guitars is synthetic vibrations like if you plug the low E string the strings in the back will vibrate so if I'm putting one of these deals on now I should hold it tightly against the main part of the word of the body Second thing we do I'm gonna move the camera there. Now you can see the tailpiece, the the bus stopper attachment and the bridge. So what we gotta do we gotta feed the string I'm gonna get it started. The thin ones are always the hardest to get to the deal. See, you can hear the roller. Sure, we're gonna stick. One. about this bass guitar, so-called bass guitar, it's not too like a regular shift string bass, 
Get back to this instrument here. Now we're popping the they were a 95, but the later chest, they, they up the scale to 84, it's not heavy enough. That note for the low, the low E. Okay. I know about these bass guitars. The original Fender bass set was used a lot with the Beatles. And uh, the late George Harrison played the original Fender bass sets on the song Hey Jude that was written by Paul McCartney and uh, and then use again use a couple more times uh, while the guitar gently weeps, the George Harrison too. It was used on the second bass line that John Lennon played with George Harrison on the White Album. Then it was used again on the song Let It Be, and John Lennon played the played the the, the instrument then. I probably have to put new strings on it, on this, but for now I'm just going to use these. Okay, that should, that should work. Okay, let's get it back in there now. Okay, okay, it's in now. Now, now it should be ready to go now. Like I said before, on, on these strings, you gotta keep full tension. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get another string later. you put strings on a Squire or a Fender bass guitar.